Assuming someone was under an unbearable amount of pain to a really bad illness, do you guys think they should be allowed to kill themselves? Hello and welcome to Big Questions, I'm your host Paul Kazadi and today we're going to be talking about euthanasia. See, it's always easy to talk about situations like this or topics like this when you're outside of the situation, you know? By that I mean, I would just say I would never do it. I would never advise anyone to do it and I don't think it's a good thing to do. But you see, you've sort of got to put yourself in the situation. I mean, people go through some really bad illnesses, you know, and, and have to experience pains that are completely unbearable. And sometimes they just want to end it. Sometimes they just want their life to end because they would rather die than have to live through days and weeks and months of such unbearable pain with a conclusion they don't know. And often they actually know they're going to die. So do you think it's best for them to continue persevering through that pain or do you think it's possible or okay for them to be like a hey, no I want to just end it all and take away my own life. What can someone really say about something like this? You know, anybody could stand in front of a camera, could stand in front of anyone in a conversation, in a conference, in a conference room, or or to anybody and, and state and give every reason to why they believe euthanasia is wrong, whether it's religious, whether it's personal, whether it's social. But at the end of the day, if it was me and I had a really bad flesh-eating disease such as Ebola, for example, that that's something everyone can relate to. Let's assume it was Ebola, you know, and I was in a position where I was dying from this thing and it was literally eating me from the inside out. Would I take the option to end my own life or would I live through the pain? Now, because of my religious views, I don't believe that I'm ever in the position to take away my own life because I did not give myself my own life. And I believe that there's always a means or a lesson to fighting through pains and fighting through struggles and dying the natural way. But we live in an age in a society where you don't have to die the natural way anymore. It's easy to die, you know? They just give you a few pills, give you a shot, put you in an electric chair or do whatever and bam, th that's your life. It's that easy. We're the kind of, of beings to just, we like to be up to date, you know? And we like to take the easy way out. We love to take the easy way out. So even though a lot of people may be religious or hold social views or personal views or moral views or whatnot, we live in an age where that decision or the idea that is to stay attached to those religious views or moral views or whatnot may be a lot more tricky to do now than it would have been a hundred years ago because now it's easy. It's so easy. And once you do it, you can't go back, you know? And I'm not going to draw a conclusion from this. I just want to hear your opinions. You know, what would you guys think? Sometimes they give you a drug. Sometimes they give you a substance. They inject you with something and, and you die. And it's painful, you know? It's painful to see. Um, I could imagine, well, I would imagine it's painful to see someone die by their own hands and let alone if they were a person who was in a state of, of if they were in a vegetable state, they couldn't make that decision for themselves, you know. Some people are in a position where they're like a vegetable, you know. They can't think for themselves, do anything for themselves. And sometimes people choose euthanasia for those people, you know, um, depending on how bad their illness is or whatnot. And just the whole idea of either taking your own life or taking someone else's life because of something they're going through just seems a little bit traumatizing, especially for anyone who's actually experiencing it. But because none of us, well, I'm not going to say none of us, but because most people rarely ever experience such a thing, it's really hard to be empathetic towards it. But that's why we're doing this video, right? So I want you guys to think about it, do a bit more research. I will definitely put some sources in the, or a source in the description so that you guys can look more into euthanasia and tell me what you think. Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's not? Would you do it? Would you not? And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Big Questions. Thank you. Watch last week's episode and I'll see you next time.